I've, I've always been a connector. I just really loved being able to connect with people when mm -hmm. they're in difficult times. Nice. I love entertaining, and I and I say I wish I could sing or I wish I could dance because mm -hmm. I think I'm born to be an entertainer. Um, and I've been able to combine these two loves for what I do in this absolutely amazing way. Please welcome from Vancouver, British Columbia, psychologist Jody Samra. A registered psychologist and Bell Let's Talk Day clinical expert Jody Samra here. For more on this, let's bring in Jody Samra. Registered psychologist Dr. Jody Samra is here. My name is Dr. Jody Samra. I'm a clinical psychologist and I was the lead researcher on the evolution of workplace mental health in Canada project. One out of five working Canadians every single year is going to deal with a psychological health issue. We're under chronic stress, which is lasting, you know, months or longer and weighing on us, but that doubles the risk that we'll develop an anxiety disorder or a depression disorder. The work that I've been heavily involved at a national policy level over the last 15 years relates to psychological health and safety in the workplace. And we now have in Canada um, a CSA standard, that's Canadian Standards Association standard, on psychological health and safety in the workplace that mandates organizations um, to have to pay attention to factors that impact um, or have the potential to impact all employees within a work environment. When we're in any situation, um, big or small, that is something that we feel we can't control, we can't influence, we can't do something about, our hands feel very tied. And that leads often to this very generalized anxiety, so this feeling of, I don't know what to do. Um, and people often get paralyzed. You know, often we hesitate starting dialogue about mental health issues. We don't want to invade in something that feels like it's personal. We don't want to offend anybody. Um, but the most important thing we can do is reach out and connect and and an easy way to start is to say something like oh you're you haven't been your usual self mm. i'm worried about you when it's colder and rainier we might not want to get out and be as active or socially connect and so there's a number of things that can start to impact our mood many of us have you know heard you know of course nature is good for us or being out in nature is great for us but what many people don't know is there's an increasing body of science that tells us it actually changes things like our biochemistry and our brain chemistry in a positive way. All I can do is be me. And if I can get up every day and do my best at being who I am, that's all I can do. And you step back and think that the best we can do is just live our, live our lives in a good, honest, value-driven manner.